Good morning guys, we're out on the water this morning. We woke up early, or shall I say we never really went to sleep. So our braves remained awake so that we can be on our game today. I've got Eric Rooney with me. What's going on, brother? Not much, bro. I've been wanting to fish with him since I was six years old, even though he is six years younger than me. But you know how it is. <laughs> the math is off. Today, I, it's an awesome episode because we're going after some walleye and we're gonna use jigging wraps. And Eric is gonna show us how we got to do it to get into them. I think it's going to be a great bite. Weather is perfect, the temperature is good, birds are flying around, we got Bella the dog with us. So we're going to get out there and hopefully put a sleigh on him. So we'll see. And uh, Eric, are you excited about today? Uh, I've been excited. All I, didn't, right. I didn't sleep. Um, yeah, same. So if that's any indication, we're going to get out there. Let's show you what we're using. Let's show you how we do it. See you guys in a few. So today we're using jigging wraps. We got this little guy here today. We got AJ over here using a different color of jigging wrap. Um, but we're using jigging wraps today. We're gonna be casting those jigging wraps and just kind of jerking them back, um, letting them fall to the bottom and jerking them up on slack line, letting them fall to the bottom and just keep doing that retrieve back and until you get a fish. And so far AJ is the only one with a fish. I'm over here severely lacking. Just cast it out there. Um, doesn't matter how far you cast it. Um, you don't need to bomb it. But just cast it out there, let it sink to the bottom. And then just kind of jerk it on your way back. Jerk it on slack line. Let it fall. Reel down, jerk up. You just keep doing that all the way back to the boat. And you wanna do it all the way back to the boat because a lot of the times you'll get a fish that'll either follow you for some time or you'll have some fish that are up underneath your boat and they're gonna come out and just and, and snatch it. So you always wanna make sure you, you fully retrieve all the way back to the boat. All right guys, so to add to what Eric was saying as far as the casting goes, something I was messing up with, and you might as well when you try this, is uh, when you let it cast out there, sit in the bottom like we have, is upon jigging it, give it a high jig, tighten it up, lower the rod, and then a high jig. Make sure that rod goes up high so it's got a good return on that way back. And I'm a infrastructure engineer on the cloud stuff, so I just uh, pretty much take care of all the servers and storage and firewalls and networks. And it's it's uh, it's challenging, man, because I was in aerospace and defense the last four years, just working uh, with military, really, and NASA. So I got used to that pretty good, you know, after four years. But this job is everything is all new to me, so it's really challenging, man. And also all that vacation time and whoa. Oh yeah. Thanks, bud. Yeah, we're all on one, buddy. Yeah, hey there, girl. Unbelievable. Yeah, man, you that little adjustment you told me to make, what a difference. He's off. That's okay. Good morning, guys. This episode is sponsored by McAfee McDonald's Cup. Not really. It's brought to you by Eric Rooney, though. Maybe. Now, hopefully, the fish are brought to you by there, too. Mm -hmm. All right, so cast. Let that thing land. Tighten it up. Pop. Pop. I think so. Oh, you on one? All right, I'll help you net that. You think you need a net? Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a for sure a keeper. Alright. 
Good work, bud. 18 and a half. All right, second one for Eric, man. Good stuff, bud. All right. <laughs> Should have caught one on a fifth cast. Or even the second cast. Yeah. You know? First cast curse is a it's a real thing. It really is. Unless you know I catch a 35-inch laker on my first cast. Oh wow. Got him. Alright. Got one, coach. You're too small to keep, but thanks. All right, she'll do. No skunky. No skunk. So that was that was like right underneath the boat. And remember, I was saying like you gotta if you cast it out there, you gotta work that thing all the way back to the boat because you never know. I just got one below the boat. Scuba divers uh, swam in that lake though, man. There's something like there's 30 inch rainbows in there. You can see that when you go to the spillway, put some polarized glasses on, you're like, Jesus. Back in the, uh, back in the late 90s, uh, early 2000s, oh. going up to dive that lake, and they were trying to feed There we go. I love it. We had back to back hits. You pinned yours. Still feels good though, don't it? <laughs> oh, there he is! <laughs> Got it, fuck. Ooh, he's pulling. I just hope he stays pinned. I hope he stays pinned because then he gets off. Ooh, I got a decent one. Jump out. Move, move. There we go. I got a sweet butt. I think. Ooh, Bella. Fun for Oh, voila. Yeah, let's check it out. Gonna look at the size. Probably 17 and, and three quarters. 17, 17 on the dot. Yes. Let him go. Brother. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Sure. I'm going to ask him if he's got a date. Be like, hey, me and Eric want to do a guided trip with you. We'll pay you for Depends on. I mean, depends, maybe smoke? Depends on their color of meat. You'll have, at Granby, you got two different colors of meat. You got white. Eric is on? On the fall. Got him on the fall. Yeah, boy. Thanks, buddy. Talking about Lakers, this is what happens. Not too bad. I hear. Not too shabby. Me and Eric practicing out here. I've noticed that seven to eight bite is just a little bit better than the darker time, which is all right with us, right, man? It's warmer and it feels better to get him instead of being cold. <laughs> so, yeah, man. We're fixing to find out. <sighs> here we go. Hey, Bella. Bella. Bella, come here. Okay. Jump. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Quite the hugger hardship. I was going to lip it. Lip that walleye. Lip him. Would you puncture yourself so fucking bad?
Nice fish. Yeah. Need on that? Possibly. This feels nicer, but no. Skip them across the water. There we go. Yes. Ah. Let's see if I can finally land one. Watch out, Bella. <laughs> Bella, move. All right, bud. Yeah. Keeper. Ooh, he got. He came out on his own. Let's see if this is a keeper. 17 and three quarters. Beauty though. Beauty. All right guys, let me show you the gear I'm using today. I have a St. Croix Avidex medium fast action rod, 6.6 .6 feet. With it, I have a Fluger Supreme President rail in 3500, and that is an eight pound P-line fluorocarbon test. Now this right here is a jig and wrap and fire tiger chartreuse number seven and I already show you how we're working it. As you guys can see, we are a St. Croix shop on this boat. Best rods on earth, right? Yes. Unless they're ice fishing rods, then they're the worst on earth. Other than that, yeah, that's our get up, and uh, we're gonna try to give it about another hour or so here and see how we do. Let's get back to it. Yeah, she, I mean, like, she tries, she tries to, like, if we, when we cast some jerk baits or swim baits or something, she tries to. Oh, got one? Yeah. All right. You done that job to take it this time? Show him over here. They're, they're, they've seen that well, there's no reason to go back below three dollars. Now, I, I, I like the post you made uh, yesterday. It's like a little cartoon meme. But yeah, once people get used to something, it's become such a norm to them. It becomes such a norm to you that you have no idea you're giving yeah. your dreams. Yeah, like pretty much uh, when, when we were getting, you know, to do these trips in our cars, I, you're right, I do not think about the gas, man. Cause there are just greater things in life, you know? Oh damn, I have to adjust my track, bro. I do? Yep, it is definitely a carp. I know it ain't, ain't no walleye, and if it is, boy, that's the 30 we're talking about. Yeah, yeah you I can just it's tell. It's fighting like a walleye, meaning like it's not doing much. Ooh, there, he is going on the run. Oh, crap. It just realized it was hooked or something. 
Oh, I don't know what I have, guys, but me and Eric are having quite the morning. I got 15 pound to test, but it is in the mouth. I saw it, I think. Yeah, because I saw him go down with it, the line in front of him. And it is a carp. Come on, get up. Stop fighting. I want to catch walleye. Come on, you nasty, filthy animal. I'm sure I could make something out of it. Walleye catch, clean, and fertilize. I see what you're saying. So reel in, lift. I mean, it kind of gets me ready for Laker season. Because, <laughs> it's, because it's, when, it's when we, like, let's be real. When you caught that 41 inch, it was fighting oh, God, that, like a that, carp. That thing, man. I knew it was a bigger fish the moment I hooked into it. All right, all right, all right, here we go. Here we go. How do they have so much fight in them? God damn. It's like the closest thing we have to a shark in our state, next to a laker. These fish, they fight so hard. It's such a yeah, I mean, I don't hate them as much. It's just valuable walleye time. Wow. Oh my god, master? Because I don't have a master angler carp yet. I don't know what a master carp 30 is. 30 inches. 30 inches? Here, let's get him this time. I think we can get him. Every time I say that. Oh my god, that is a. I can't believe he ate that thing, dude. 29 and a quarter. 29 and a quarter. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one, man. That is a nice 29 one. 29 and a half, probably about 15 pounds. Yeah. I, I don't know. My hand is so sore from fighting it. Let's uh, <laughs> let his ass go. Alrighty, guys. We are done for the day. Eric is doing some few last casts. Fishing has really slowed down. We covered a whole lake. We looked for those ledges. We looked for flats. We looked for humps as usual, using nothing but the jigging wraps. And we got into them, even a bonus carp. Some little catfish as you already saw. So we're gonna call it a day. It's getting kind of warm out here. So the beanie and the hoodie are not needed anymore. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and you learned something from me and Eric. This is not the last time we're gonna film an episode. I think we're gonna get on some ice, yeah? Oh yeah. Yeah, so it should be fun. That's about, I don't know, a month and a half away, depending on how much of an enthusiast you are and what you wanna do as far as hiking goes. But anyways, right, until next time, Eric. Last cast. It's the last cast. But you know what that means. There's probably like five more afterwards. That's right. So on that note, guys, take it easy. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Thank you.